Caleb Savant with Brown Nose here. Today, pulling from the vault, we're bringing you the Marlin Model 60. The Marlin Model 60 is a tubular magazine-fed 22 long rifle, semi-automatic rifle. Now, the Model 60 has been around for quite some time, since 1960, if you've guessed, and it was made to replace the Marlin Model 99, which was actually a fancier version of the Model 60. Uh, the only two major changes to that was on the Model 60, you see you have the uh, grooved scope mount, Whereas on the Model 99, it was drilled and tapped, and then the stock. The stock on the 60 is birch, whereas the 99 was walnut. So that made the Model 60 a lot cheaper and easier to produce. Now, the Model 60 has gone over some you know, changes, some renditions over time, although a lot of the parts will still interchange, not all of them. They went through a feed throat conversion, uh, which changed quite a bit, because the old feed throats actually had the ejector built onto the feed throat, and... You know, those were causing some issues, they would fail, and then um, you basically had to replace the whole feed throat assembly. And they actually upgraded that by putting, I don't know if you can see it here, but putting a piece of spring steel to act as the ejector. Another upgrade they did was to add a bolt catch on the trigger guard, which kind of, as a gunsmith, actually led to a lot of uh, issues with the gun for people that aren't familiar with it. I'd have people bring this gun into the gunsmithing shop, saying, you know, I'm, I'm pulling my bolt release and, you know, my bolt won't go forward. And all you have to do is hit the release. Or if they're familiar with that release, if you pull the bolt back and push the charging handle in, that locks it back as well. So they'd come in saying, you know, my bolt won't release. And in which case, all you'd have to do is pull the charging handle out and everything worked just fine. Uh, so I'm not sure why they added two of them on this particular firearm or this later version of it. Um, but it does certainly have it, and I guess it's you know comes down to personal preference, but they both work just fine. Now, as I mentioned previously, they come in many variations, and the front sight on this one is the basic one-piece screw-on front sight. Uh, some variations did come with dovetail front sights. Um, some came with gold bead. You know, you have some with fiber optics. You have some that are hood, hooded, not hooded, uh, and then the magazine tube itself. You know, they come anywhere between I think 13 to 18 round capacity. They're not interchangeable, so if you lose it you need to make sure you replace it with the proper length so your firearm will function properly. So this was a common sight on pretty much every model. You have your leaf sight with your elevator. Then you have this 3 8 dovetail groove machined into the top of the receiver that'll fit your standard rim fired 3 8 springs. And then the stock, of course, as I mentioned earlier, is a birch. You can get it in a synthetic variant as well, uh, depending on which model you purchase. And then the butt pad, just your standard plastic butt pad. Uh, some of them did have the Mar Marlin logo on them. This one does not. And then you have your trigger guard here. This is a later model because it is cut out for that bolt catch, as I mentioned before. Earlier models did not have that. And, of course, you have your standard push-button safety and your takedown screw up front here. So the Marlin Model 60, I grew up as a kid shooting this gun. Uh, a lot of sentimental value to me. Uh, I can you know remember going through the woods as a kid, you know, just plinking away at pine cones and everything else. Uh, in South Louisiana, pretty much every sugarcane farmer's barn has one of these laying against a wall. So they're, they're very common rifles, easy to find. Um, decent gator guns as well, believe it or not. But that's the Marlin Model 60. If you have any questions or any personal experiences you'd like to add, uh, feel free to leave them down below. I'd like to read them. So join us next time when we bring you another gun from the vault.